guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're still here at Virginia International Raceway. Right now, some cars are out on track, and we have that performance sedan that really everybody's talking about. This is it. This is the 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. But before we get into this supercharged V8 performance sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Cadillac that brand of General Motors that really built a name for itself based off of luxury and style. But a lot of people don't realize that performance is also at the foundation of the Cadillac philosophy, so much so that even to this very day in the 21st century, Cadillac is racing their products on racetracks across the country because competition improves the breed for everybody. And those pieces of technology, whether it's performance, whether it's style, whether it's aerodynamics, all trickles down into the cars that we get to enjoy every single day. Now, with the return of this Blackwing name, because the Blackwing name has been used before, with the return of it on the CT5V, it really brings that full performance that the V-Series fans want with supercharged power, like I said, what I want to find out though, has Cadillac done enough? And have they done enough for the price of the CT5V Blackwing? We're going to find out. And guess what? The great news is we have a six speed manual Cadillac CT5 Blackwing. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this electric blue CT5V Blackwing and find out is it worth the price for this performance sedan? Let's see if we can figure it out. Right off the bat, the styling. Even when I first saw and we brought to you the regular CT5, CT5V, and now this Blackwing, the styling looks really crisp and sharp, but it keeps the identity of the brand. Now, what I mean by that is you're gonna get, of course, full LED headlights. And I love the way they do the design on the CT5, especially with their waterfall daytime running lamp, how it goes from the headlight housing down into this lower housing. Now the wonderful news, functionality is at the key focus of the CT5V Blackwing. Like I said, they're not messing around taking that track performance. So you are gonna have functional massive corner air intakes on both sides. Look at what we have, carbon fiber. So you're gonna get this massive carbon fiber splitter. Lori actually ate her lunch off of this splitter right here. I sat at the table, Lori's like, I love this carbon fiber splitter. She ate her lunch right off the splitter. This is gonna give us tons of downforce, but it's also gonna stop air from going underneath the vehicle because at speed, and when we talk about speed, wait until you hear the numbers on this thing, we don't want lift. So that is not only looking sexy, but it's also functional as well. We come across that V motion grill and look what we have, some sprinkling of carbon fiber across the top you got that iconic Cadillac badge, forward-facing camera, and your V-Series grill. They did so much intricate work that they actually fine-tuned every single V that you see that makes up this grill to give maximum airflow. Even little details like rubbing out the edges to help pull that air in. We drop our way down, we have some gloss black. You're gonna get more of that V-Motion goodness, that V-Series goodness down below full functionality, and there's the rest of that splitter that goes all the way across. Now, the great news is, it's not about only what you see, but it's also about what you don't see. And what you don't see is underneath this CT5V Blackwing, we have an under spoiler, an underwing, that's actually going to take the air and channel it underneath the vehicle and suck the vehicle to the tarmac. And the faster you go, the more it's gonna bring it down and keep it planted. So that is all the work that they did. I love the way that they extended. You'll notice that you get your brake cooling ducts, the way they extend the body workout, more functionality, not only in the far corners of the universe, but also closer to the center here on both sides, getting up onto the hood. We got a bulge. We have a bulge, everybody. So you're gonna get that supercharged goodness, the bulge, to back it up, everything flows towards the windshield. Nice, clean, sharp styling. Coming around the bend, wait to get your mind blown. As we come around the bend here, you can see how they take the actual splitter, now they're gonna bring it up and 
channel that air over the front fenders. It's all about aerodynamic flow. Check out the wheel and tire setup that we have on our electric blue CT5V Blackwing. So we have these optional wheels with that bronze color to them that are just stunning. Look at the Blackwing touches on the wheels. It's a 19 inch wheel up front. We have 275 on the width, 35 series sidewall, bright red, cherry red, six piston Brembo calipers with that wonderful V series badging there. And we have the optional for the first time ever in the history of Cadillac, carbon ceramic brake rotors. The size of Domino's pizzas that you ate last night. Yes, that pizza that you ate last night, that's how big that rotor is. And it's gonna give us that awesome braking capability and cooling, less rotating mass. You're gonna get less brake fade at the track, but those are full carbon ceramic brake rotors with the massive calipers. And there's actually four different colors of caliper color that you could choose from. Plus, two different style wheels and then the different color of wheel options as well. And all those nice little Easter eggs everywhere. It's like you're the bunny and this is your electric blue Easter basket. There's tons of Easter eggs all over this thing. Speaking of eggs, let's make some scramble and let's go down the side. We got our V series badge, looking sharp, super clean, not too high, not too low, functional. I'm gonna have Lori swing it around and show that fender flare. The fenders are actually wider. That fender uh, vent is gonna be fully functional. Carbon fiber along the bottom, that side sill extension. They went and they did the work with aero tunnels and wind tunnels and track testing and everything else to perfect the extra bodywork to help keep this car planted at speed. Wonderful silhouette. I've always liked the silhouette of the CT5, especially this black wing. The one thing I'm gonna zonk and continue to zonk though is this rear quarter area. They should have made this a quarter window instead of a large piece of gloss black or better yet, how about just make it all carbon fiber? Now we're talking, if it's carbon fiber, then it kind of blends in with everything else and you barely see it because it doesn't stick out as much as it just being gloss black. But out back, let's talk about what we got out back. 305, so we have wider wheels and tires on the rear to get the power to the ground. Look at the calipers. Massive rear calipers with full carbon ceramic brake rotors. 305s, 19 inch wheels with those Michelin wonderful tires that are gonna keep you, those Pilot Sport Forest tires, gonna give you the grip, the stick, and some wonderful durability. Coming around the back, I just love the hard body line on that rear fender. Super sexy as it flows into our taillights. And the taillights are just as astounding as the headlights, the way they waterfall down. Very unique. You're not gonna confuse this with any other luxury car brand. And then to top it off, like the cherry on top of your massive Sunday, we have full wet weave carbon fiber. Even the way they did the weaves is to make a V. All the body lines are V-shaped. Up top, you see that shark fin antenna? Not only is it color matched to be electric blue, but there's also the digital rear view mirror built in. Love the way they have that technology that brings to you on the inside. We kind of drop down. You do have some gloss black. I wish they would have went carbon fiber right here, but they did go gloss black. You got your V-series badge, the Cadillac badge, but we're gonna drop it all the way. Drop it like it's hot. The reason why we got all this fire hot carbon fiber. Look at that rear diffuser, quad tip exhaust. And we don't have a dual mode exhaust. We have a multi-mode exhaust because of all the different modes that you have. They actually have the exhaust note to adjust depending if you want sport, if you want track, if you want comfort. And we got to meet the engineer that actually helped design the tunes for this CT5V Blackwing. But why don't we go ahead, we got to the tail end of the business, let's pop the hood and see that supercharger V8 goodness. All right guys, popping the hood. You got the V-Series badge there. You got your hydraulic hood struts. Look at this massive strut top mount bracing here. From one side to the other, we have the Magnetic Ride 4.0. So the Magnetic Ride suspension version 4.0. This thing is like a steel girder off of the Brooklyn Bridge. It even has the V-Series badge on the actual bracing. Plus, you're gonna see that LT4 V8 hand assembled by one technician at the Bowling Green facility where they make, of course, the beloved Chevrolet Corvette. LT4 power supercharged V8. I like the addition of this front piece that they added with the Cadillac badge. You got the signature 
of the person that put it together. You can see the massive throttle body that's gonna suck all that air in for the supercharged V8 goodness. But what are we talking about? We're talking about a 6.2 liter LT4 supercharged V8. We now have 668 horsepower. So if you have a Camaro ZL1, this has more horsepower. If you have a Corvette Z06, this has more horsepower. 659 pound-feet of torque. Remember, the last V car was the CTS V. That had 640 horsepower. It's using an Eaton supercharger. This one is mated to the Tremec six-speed. You could also get the 10-speed automatic. It's got an electric limited slip diff, of course. Zero to 60, if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, 3.6 seconds. If you get the automatic zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, the car weighs around 40, 100 pounds. Those carbon ceramic rotors I told you about will save you 53 pounds of rotating mass, 53 pounds. And you actually have a magnesium wheel option as well, like we talked about. And those rotors are 15.7 inches in diameter, but this is what we're talking about. Supercharged power, the return of the manual transmission. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this electric blue beast and hear its roar. <laughs> guys here we are it's that time we're in the 2022 cadillac ct5 v blackwing with the six b manual transmission i know you're saying to yourself joe i am so glad cadillac brought this car back i've been looking at the m3 the m5 i've been looking at an rs5 an amg uh, c63s this cadillac is making my heart pitter patter how much is it so MSRP, now remember, this car could go over 200 miles an hour. That's the length of a football field every second, around 202 miles an hour. So I know you're saying, Joe, how much is it? MSRP starting is $84,990. Well configured is $125,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Absolute pure sexiness. You're getting soft touch material up top. They spilled a small bucket of carbon fiber, nicely done right by the door handle. You have the AKG premium sound system, and then get ready for your friend Alcantara. We got Alcantara microfiber suede material. Love the contrast stitching, and this one has this beautiful two-tone with a nice tan finish, red stitching. Now the door pocket is really, really small, so maybe four Twinkies, and a bottle of Yoohoo to wash it down. But other than that, sports car sexiness on that door panel. Going from the door panel to the dash, same story. They spilled some more carbon fiber. Love the silver trim, soft touch with the stitching. You get 10 inches. So we have over 10 inch infotainment system, navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Is it a touchscreen? You better bet your supercharged V8 goodness. And there is all the functions, real easy on the swipe. We got the performance data recorder. You could actually use that as a dash cam. You could go into your cameras. Look at the clarity. This is where GM owns, just owns it because you have your forward facing camera, high resolution, 360. We can adjust everything. You can look at those beautiful wheels. God, they're sexy. Turn them around again. And then you're right back to where you started. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You got your home button. We have this carbon flash metallic, which doesn't show the fingerprints too much. I'd rather have maybe the carbon fiber or some other trim here. Love the way they did the AC vents. You got your start stop button. Same switch gear as the CT5, and that's fine because it looks good. Heated seats, ventilated seats, and wireless charging. Now they spilled a bigger bucket of carbon fiber. You got the six speed. So you have the Tremec six speed, nice short throws, crisp engagement, no lift shift and automatic rev match downshifting. Look at the beautiful art that they did 
on the actual shift knob there. Alcantara boot and shift knob itself. You got a nice little place here for some Jolly Ranchers. There's your key fob, bright red, just like the Brembos. Spin it around, there's your buttons. Let me hold it the right way. Don't want you to zonk me. You got two cup holders, more of that tan. It is hard as a rock, but it looks great. Open it up, we have some felt lining. You could put some emeralds, a bag of emeralds or rubies in there that you've been walking around with. USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt, and then these seats. These are the crown jewels. You wanna talk about the crown jewels? Check it out, V-Series badge, red stitching, white piping. Look at the one piece back, the beautiful stitch work. Down the center, the bolstering, gonna hold you in really nice, very tight, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver, of course. Alcantara headliner, enough room. Remember, I'm six feet tall. Somebody give me a helmet because I'm ready to go on track here at VIR and I still got plenty of headroom, even with a helmet on. Come on over the business end. I got a steering wheel, not with your name written all over it, my name written all over it. Come on over, I wanna show it all to right, you. All right guys, this is where you wanna be in the driver's seat. You do have two memory seat settings. Love the aluminum sill plate with the V badge there, the V series badge illuminated. And then look what we got, the triple pedals. Hashtag save the manuals, aluminum dead pedal, clutch, brake pedal, and throttle. Seat controls are easy to get to. You can adjust the bolstering, the lumbar, the whole nine yards. Steering wheel, it may not be flat bottom, but I really don't care because it looks good. Check out the Alcantara all the way around. Carbon fiber with your serial number for your particular Blackwing. We have the adjustment to adjust your traction, traction control. V series button, that immediately puts you into a full track performance mode. We got the leather stripe up top for top dead center. They even do stitching on the horn button just to bring some extra sexiness and then talk about sexy. Look at that digital TFT display absolutely stunning has all the information you need and everything that you don't need to have is just not present there look at how when you go into v it adjusts everything you could go through the different modes the different settings over here on the infotainment system you'll be able to actually adjust everything yourself and really you know tailor it exactly the way you want to go it and we are going to go full race on everything ready to rock and roll okay but really wonderful setup and a head-up display so you're getting all this great information this is stuff that they take from the racetrack put it in your production car let's go ahead get to the back seat because i'm ready to go on throttle in our ct5v black all right guys back seat time this is where your passengers are going to be holding off for dear life as you clip every apex to perfection backs of the seats look at it one piece back full carbon fiber look at the nice v-series badging that they do there's so many easter eggs all over this thing it's ridiculous get to the center stack here you do have rear ac a usb-c and a usb there's no seat pockets but i don't care because i can look at that carbon fiber all day long leather is so soft pull down the armrest nice and high perfect for a couple drinks and then of course we don't have red seat belts we have tan seat belts these are good for two and a half horsepower a piece. Red seat belts are five extra horsepower. These are good for two and a half extra horsepower, but let's get to the trunk and see what we could haul in the CT5V Blackwing. All right guys, cargo area time. Once you get past that beautiful carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler, hit the button, pops up. You get a nice wide opening. The seats do the 60-40 split. You're looking at over 11 cubic feet of space. The great news is, is that they mount the battery at the rear for that weight distribution and you have a large little nook over there for a oversized box of track worthy Twinkies. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. We got a CT5V Blackwing and the key fob. Let's go on throttle. Let's go. All right guys, we're in the manual transmission, CT5V Blackwing. Awesome experience to have the six feet back in the Blackwing. Nice short throws, crisp engagement. I know you're ready to go on throttle. I definitely want to take you on throttle, but if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Wow, it really just pulls and pulls and pulls. No lift shift, no lift shift. 
shift. Look at that. Wow. This thing is a beast. Automatic rev match downshift. Wait for the no lift shift. Watch this. Hot bro, here we go. Yeah! Wow! The feedback and the steering, the way the chassis is so balanced. <laughs> Being able to shift on throttle and go to the next gear so smooth. The automatic rev match downshifting just really takes the mystery out of heel toe downshifting, but you could shut it off and do your own heel toe downshifting. But I love all the communication that comes to the wheel. The way they stiffened up the chassis is so smart. Nothing too bouncy where it's just scaring you. You just feel confident. You feel planted. Look at this. Here we go. Unbelievable. All right, guys, we got 668 horsepower. I think we need to smoke them because we got them. Are you ready? I'm ready! <laughs> smoke them if you got them! <laughs> wow, I'm telling you right now, the amount of power this freaking car has. Unbelievable. Just so ridiculous how you're able to just smoke them if you got them so easily, yet you take this to a road course, you could do your track day, you could drive it to work every day, take your significant other out to the movies. God, that be eight. I just wish there was a little bit more of supercharger wine. Where is that? I am gonna have this on, no supercharger wine. You hear it on the outside, but not on the inside. And I kind of miss that just a little bit. Doesn't have to be super loud, but just enough to let you know that, hey, you have that performance adder in this freaking performance sedan. Wow. Listen to this sound. Even over the rough payment, I mean, it really feels planted and secured. No lift shift. Look at this. Very balanced, very smooth. God, I love this car. This is what it's all about.
right, guys, let's talk about what's going on here. The balance, the power, the transmission, everything just all comes together. The Cadillac team of enthusiasts did one hell of a job. This is freaking an amazing car. So much you're getting. Performance, the whole nine yards, technology, luxury, style. This is it, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap this one up. All right, guys. <sighs> it's been an outstanding day here at Virginia International Raceway. I definitely got to thank Carol, Stefan, Megan, Whitney, Brandon, Blaine, the whole Cadillac crew is absolutely amazing for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know, do you think it's worth the price with what you're getting and the performance that you're bringing to the table with this supercharged Cadillac? Put that in the comment section. If you are new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. I got to put it up to the supercharged goodness behind that camera. That's Lori, muscle arms, working that camera like a champ. She has been doing the business today. Show her some freaking love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.